Jesus is our teacher. Jesus is our teacher of the truth. You know, we, when it comes to the truth, there's so many aspects of the truth, so many angles. Look at it and, and look at it in politics. Um, there's a lot of different angles. Look at it in the news. Different angles. Look at anything, an event that happens. Everybody has different angles of the truth of what happened. So on the right and the left, conservative and, and liberal, or conservative and uh, radical conservative, or conservative and then the middle. We have to we have to really kind of um, see things from different angles to to find the real truth. This is the, the balance. You know, we try to find the balance, and we're looking through history. The church is always straight down the middle. The church is an extreme on one way or the other. You know, and most of us are you would say conservative, right? Some of us uh, lean more more to to one, you know, either more so ultra-conservative or conservative or maybe a little more to the center, perhaps. It doesn't matter. What we need to do is seek the truth, which is look at it from every angle. Don't just go to your own source of truth, your own source of news, I should say your own source of news. You know, the liberals, they will, will not look at conservative news. They won't look at Fox News. They won't look at other, other Christian news. They don't like it. They actually have a contempt or even a hatred for that side. So they won't even look at it. So you can see that in the liberal news they will not look at the other side. And so they never get the truth and they get, they get lopsided views on things in the news. But the right can do that too. The conservatives can do that too. This, our, our, us religious people can, can do that too. They're, we only look at one source of news and we can get distorted. We do need to look at other sources of truth other news outside of our bubble. We really need to be docile to, to, to that. And so when we look at the gospel and the teachings of Jesus, Jesus is, Jesus is the one solid truth that we have. We can't go wrong with Jesus. Study him more and more, and he's always common sense. He's always down the, down the middle of what is true. And we need to, we can distort the message of Jesus by not praying when we read the Gospels, by not being open, by not looking at ourselves and our faults and our mistakes and errors that we can make. That's why Jesus say, take the beam that's out of your own eyes so that you can see the truth for yourself and for other people. Take the beam out of your own eye. Take the, you know, just stay, get out of your own bubble so you can see the full, the full truth. Jesus has the fullness of truth, but we gotta look at it all. We gotta look at it all, because sometimes he'll say things that really convict us, make us have to change our, our ways, and we don't wanna look at it. We don't even know how we're blocking things out about ourselves. You know, we're a big part of the, big part of the news. We want to know the full news about ourselves, don't we? We should. Uh, if we don't, we'll have to face it in purgatory or we'll face it in other people. And other people will um, criticize us, gossip about us, say things or react. You know, we can learn a lot from other people about what we're doing, right or wrong. You know, we need to be sensitive to the truth about ourselves. And it goes on the micro level about ourselves and the macro level about other people and about the world, you know, kind of all kind of fits together. And the togetherness is really just the truth. We want to know the truth about what really happened, about what's really wise, you know, wisdom. We want to, we want to know what the best thing is. How do you handle a situation like Russia and Ukraine, how, what's the best thing to do right now, now that it's happened? We can look 2020 and 
in the, in the past and see what the leaders should have done and shouldn't shouldn't have done. What do we do now? What's the wisd What's the wise thing to do? How do you get wisdom? You know, you ask other people who, you know, don't just ask your own people who are going to echo your echo chamber, but ask other people what is the best thing, and you know, you sort through that. You sort through what's the best thing, and then you pray for the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit knows what the best thing is, what's going to happen in the future. This is what we do in the macro level, in the big, big, the big scene, but also in our own private level, and how we guide other people. <clears throat> we, do, we do need to hear the truth, and one way of knowing what the best thing is, is to, you know, who bears fruit, who bears the best fruit, who does the best good things, who is the most charitable, who is accomplishing the most for God, who is bearing the truth, bearing, bearing, uh, bearing good fruit, who is doing that, and then listen to them, follow them. Who is trying to discern the will of God? Who's trying to, who really loves your neighbor? Who really loves the nation, the country? Who really loves other people? Look to them. Who really loves the family? I, I, I think of my sister one time, she, uh, her husband was criticizing her <clears throat> for the way she was bringing up her kids and she really loved her kids, maybe too, too much as far as uh, uh, not putting perhaps God entirely first, but she really loved her kids and wanted the best, wanted them to be happy. But she was getting criticized all the time, and I, I remember saying to her, you know, you, you act out of love, true love for your kids, and follow that. That's going to be the truth about what you... And that's so most of the time she was right because she loved her kids and her husband was wrong in the criticisms that he said. Who, who loves the country? Who loves the family? Follow, follow the law of love and you'll f be right most of the time. Follow the truth. Use your brain too, not just your heart. Follow other people's opinion. Uh, you know, look for other opinions. We want to know what is the best about ourselves and about other people and about the world. Jesus is the fullness of the truth, the truth, the way to follow the life, how to live a good life, how to live a holy life. Jesus has all of it. We need to find it in him. Ask him. Ask those who, uh, you know, you can look at Moses. He didn't have the fullness of truth. He didn't even bring everybody into the promised land. God prevented him from knowing the fullness of the truth or having it all at that time, and Joshua had brought the people into, into, into the promised land. He had the grace to bring them in and to fight, to fight the, uh, the enemies of God. Uh, so none of us have the fullness, although we try to do the best we can. Nobody has the fullness. We have to ask each other, find each other, even listen to children, even listen to the innocent, even listen to, you know, listen to everybody to find the truth that God wants to communicate to you about yourself and about what's the best thing. Uh, so that takes humility. I don't know everything, and I never will. I always have to ask advice, counsel, uh, wisdom, and then pray and ask. Uh, but God, but Jesus is the ultimate teacher. He is the ultimate truth, and uh, we adhere to him in the sacraments, uh, the Eucharist and confession, he will enlighten us about ourselves and about what's the best thing for ourselves and our families. So um, we always need to keep learning, keep growing, keep uh, um, uh, turning to the one, the, the ultimate teacher, Jesus Christ.